What's up, people? So, as promised, I had a video that I was going to make explaining some things. Um, uh, and so much so to the point that I went and got me an entire carton of orange juice right here. Straight from Trader Joe's. Because the orange juice keeps me calm, so... You guys know I don't like bringing a lot of negativity on my channel, but if anything of importance needs to be spoken on, I'm damn sure going to speak on it. And, um... You know, and I, you know, orange juice keeps me, orange juice keeps me calm. So I'm trying to, you know, go through this video without getting too riled up. Cause y'all not know, like I'm not known on my channel to let my emotions get the best of me. But in this video, it just might. Cause I'm, you know, I might get, uh, kind of flustered talking about the things I'm talking about. Cause like they're near and dear to my heart and, um. You know, it might not seem a big deal to a lot of people, but it's a big deal to me. Hopefully, by me explaining things, um, you guys will be able to get a, a sense of understanding as to where I'm coming from, at the very least. You know, you might not, you know. <clears throat> but um, some of you know, obviously, you know, if you are, are subscribed to this channel, you know what I do on this channel. I do a lot of, um, you know, video game playthroughs, live streams, and things like that. But... I'm not as, how can I put it, I'm not as enthusiastic or as energetic as I would like to be on this channel. And that's mainly in part because, for those of you who know, like the biggest problem that I've been having since I moved into the current house I am staying in, um is that I have no privacy. That's like the biggest issue. Now, why is this a thing? Because I can't entertain you guys to the best of my abilities when I have nosy, rude, loud, obnoxious people living with me. And mind you, these are family members, by the way. Not all not all of them, but most of them are family members. Um, in this house... Because I believe that most of you already know the story. Since 2016, I've been very vocal about it. Um, you know, I was living in a different house, obviously. You know, I mean, well, uh, and, you know, a situation came up where, you know, my sister and my eldest cousin, they decided that, you know, since everybody was coming to everybody else's house, you know, so often, why don't we just get a house together? You know, and they kind of came together and made this decision without, you know, knowledge of well as far as my i didn't know anything about it you know they just told me that it was just a thought and then one random day somebody came into me you know, my cousin came into my room and just told me hey like we need a hundred dollars for the for the security deposit like what like don't just drop that on me out of the middle of nowhere and it was like the next day they got a u-haul van outside and just you know what i mean it, it was just like they just pretty much as far as my knowledge goes as far as my experience with it it went from talking about it to it being done literally you know in a split second and i was just caught up in the mix nobody really explained anything to me like the way they should have so i was just asked out and i was kind of forced in this situation you know i came to california on the wing of a prayer trying to literally on the wing of a prayer trying to um trying to uh you know take this youtube hobby and turn it into a full-time occupation because one well not only that but try to get my hand in some of these video game fighting fighting game tournaments because for one louisiana has no fighting game scene outside of like the little get-togethers um that your friends may have or something like that you know there's no major or even minor fighting game scene out there like there's no fighting game community in louisiana I mean, I'm pretty sure there's people from Louisiana that, that go to these fighting game tournaments out in New York and Atlanta and, you know, places primarily in the East Coast and more so in the West. But in Louisiana, there's no fighting game scene out there. It's like anybody who has a passion for playing video games or anything like that, you're basically in a dead zone. Like, there's nothing for you. So by me knowing that, like, I knew that when I first got started on YouTube that, you know, the internet out, out out in Louisiana, it pretty much sucks. It sucks ass. Your options for internet out there are so few in between that, you know, compared to what I got, you know, compared to my options out here in, uh, in California, 
like the internet out here is like a, a million times better than what you can get back in Louisiana. So it's just that, you you know, like your options are so much better out here when it comes to being able to upload, live streaming, um, online gameplay, you know, even with the fighting game, um, um, even with the fighting game tournaments, most of them are going to be based out here. And, you know, also, you know, I, I would like to get my foot in one of these video game companies, which Louisiana has none of at all. Uh, maybe like a mobile game company or something like that, which I'm not aware of. But as far as like a, a big company for video games, nothing like that is in Louisiana. So I had to come to California. And on top of the fact that I, I have family members out here already that wanted, you know, that, that moved out here five years prior and were telling me about it. I was like, well, fuck it. Like, I'm kind of leaving Louisiana because, to put it to you like this, I was so, like... I'm a person that's afraid of heights. Like, I can't stand heights because I feel like, you know, it's, all, it's only a matter of time before you teeter and fall. But put it to you like this. My fear of, of staying in Louisiana when I finally got the money to, to leave, my fear of, of me being in Louisiana overpowered my fear of being on a plane. That's how desperately I wanted to get out of Louisiana. That I forgot that I was afraid. That I, I basically, I, you know, pretty much forgot that I was afraid of flights. Of, 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 of heights so you know so coming here you know I you know when I first got here you know I was living with my sister and um you know I had my own room and things like that you know I was helping out here and there well you know saying like where I could uh cause the job I the 9 to 5 I had sucks never work at big lots <laughs> that place is terrible um, at least from my experience at the big lots out here in, in Antioch, California. The one on the Delta Fair Boulevard. The worst big lots I will ever... Like, and I openly announce that. Anna Gomez is one of the worst managers out there. I'll put it out there. That's her name. You know, but, you know, she... she I don't know if she's still the manager there, but when I was working there, yeah, she was... Like, so many people left because of her, you know what... That has nothing to do. You know what? Let me take a sip. <laughs> Look, let me take a sip. I told you it was going to get real. God, I love my orange juice. Okay. So. <sighs> let me calm down. Orange juice really does help. So. <laughs> with. Um, you know, with me moving out here. I'm staying with my sister and everything, you know, everything's fine as far as, you know, and, um, I'm helping out where I can. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, you know, my cousin starts coming over there more often at my sister house. And there were so many back and forth, you know, travels. They just, I guess they just decided they wanted to, you know, move and move everybody into one big house, you know, and one big, have everybody under one big roof, you know what I mean? The idea was that, you know, everybody, you know, helps out with the bill, you know, every basically save money. Everybody helps out with the bills and things like that, you know, basically live together as a family and try to reduce the cost of living for everybody else by everybody else, you know, helping out. Now, this is the idea before I was aware of what anything is. And for those of you who's, who, um, seen my videos back in 2016, in regards to, uh, hold on. In regards to, um, you know, my living conditions here drastically changed. I went from having my own private room, you know, a door, things like that, to basically being in an open area. And I made enough videos about it to where, you know, I don't want to, um, go into it no more you guys can just look the videos up on my youtube hold on one second let me uh pause this because you know this is gonna be something else i'm gonna touch on in a little bit so just give me a minute and, uh, like i said there's gonna be some interruptions i kind of should have made the disclaimer earlier but um you know if you go back and look at my vlog style videos like the house tour i did you know I kind of explained everything there, but before moving here, you know, they talked about it and I, you know, they never really confirmed 
with me, especially, look, if you want me to pay money on anything, I need to be aware of it. You know, I don't mind helping out, but don't just assume that I'm in a position to do that. You know, find out. Let's work something out. Let's do, don't just throw me in the mix. And that's kind of what happened here. I was just thrown into the mix, forced to accept the conditions. You know, that sounds like some slave shit, but, um, but yeah, it was like, and they kept talking about moving into a house, and I was, you know, and when they did say that they found a house that they were interested in, I was like, well, can I see the house? Can I see the house? Because I didn't have no vehicle. Mind you, I came from Louisiana with nothing but the, the clothes I had, and, you know, shipping all my equipment, my game systems, and my TVs, you know what I mean? I didn't have any vehicle, so... I was kind of depending on them to, if I needed to go anywhere. And um, I kept asking, you know, can you guys take me to see the house? Can you guys take me to see the house? And it's been, it was times when I was off work when, um, you know, they would go see the house and they wouldn't bring me with them. And it was just kind of like I was getting left out of seeing the house because, you know, like I know what was going to happen. Everybody else picking, their, picking out their rooms and shit, and I'm just left with whatever. So when the day came and they just rushing to move out of nowhere, spontaneously, I was, you know, I, I got to the house and literally when we moved here, that was my first time of, um, that was my first time actually looking at the house. This is my first time looking at this house. This is when we first moved. So... It was two other rooms that people, like everybody else had already made up their mind of what room they was going to get and shit. And um, I had two options as far as which one. It was a small office area. That couldn't fit everything that I had that they were turning into a room. And then they had a big open loft area which could fit everything I that I had. But here's the here's the kicker. There was no fucking wall. There was no door, no wall. It's basically like a loft area. It was like an open area that, you know, if pretty much like when everybody else walk out of their room, they can just look right in there. And this is a problem for a number of reasons, especially with what I'm doing. In this house, you have, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, including myself, that would make seven people. And there's six other people that live in this house beside me. Not to mention the revolving, the, the, the constant revolving door of fucking guests and family members, family members that just come here all willing, you know what I'm saying? That they just, you know, maybe because they know somebody else, and but it's like they just, you know, just random ass occurrences where people just come here. You know what I mean? And it's just uncomfortable. Like, you know, so with the constant guests, I mean, it's like 10 to 12 people that is always here. You know what I mean? And it's like being in that open area, say, say like, for example, like if I'm making a video, right, pretty much like I'm doing now, and, and I'm trying to focus on a topic at hand, and there's constant distractions all over consistent just constant distractions somebody's always talking loud somebody's always yelling somebody's always screaming somebody's always singing somebody's always being in your no being nosy up in your shit if i'm over, up, up in the room and i'm live streaming and i'm just having like a little fun little silly moment i'm focused on what's going on right now all of a sudden out of nowhere you got like three different fucking people coming in there talking about hey no uh, what you yelling at what you do you ain't none of your fucking business i'm, I'm live streaming like, don't interrupt me when I'm, like, when I'm in my zone and I'm enjoying myself, don't come in there and ruin it. So I'm coming from being able to close the door and not having to deal with any of that nonsense to an open fucking area and everybody's in your business. Like, it's just, you know, it's hard to try to be energetic and enthusiastic when, and, you know, focus on certain topics when other people just being nosy in your shit. You know, they may think that's your fun. It's like, you can talk to them all you want. It's just like, in many cases, it's like talking to a brick wall because they, like, nobody wants to understand, you know, the situations of, of other people, but I'm like, whatever. You know, it's like, I'm in a situation right now, like, I'm biting the bullet, I'm dealing with it the best I can, but it's still annoying as fuck, you know.
and you know I've tried to you know get a wall built but I'm not too sure about whether or not that's going to work out considering the fact that you know when you move into a place you know the 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 landlord you know asks for a security deposit and basically what that is is that if you damage anything while you're living like moving in or moving out then that security deposit is supposed to is basically there to take care of that, to take care of whatever you damage. That's what the security deposit basically deposit basically is. Now, let's say you don't do anything uh, to damage the house. After everything's been evaluated, they give that money back to you. So basically, it's like, uh, so basically, the security deposit is basically like a collateral. Say, basically, so, so that you don't mess nothing up in the house now of course you want to take pictures and we did all that of like the carpet being fucked up and a number of other things that were wrong with the house when we first moved in here so they couldn't blame us for that but um you know so far so good on the security deposit i'm gonna say and we've been living here for going on two years um but yeah it's it's just like constant and even when they know because they know what i do you know, they know I live stream, they know I, you know, game online, and then you got other motherfuckers live streaming, not even live streaming, like video chatting, and the internet that we currently have is not good for, you know, what I got going on, and I am think I'm going to try to uh, get a better, um, like a better, uh, Uh, like a much better internet service, a, a stronger internet service, um, and have it set up in my room because I can't, like, like I can't deal with, you know, constant frame rate, you know, uh, constant lag because somebody decided they wanted to video chat somebody and, t and gossip, like little shit like that that be pissing me off. It's like, you know, I'm doing this, you know, to make money. You know that I'm, you like they know they know <laughs> and it's like they just randomly just do the shit and it's like at the worst damn time it could be an intense gaming session and all of a sudden out of nowhere you know the fucking frame rate drops in the, in, in the in the online game i'm playing be it tekken be it overwatch be it street fighter or whatever the case is and it's always risky you know and here's the thing about me in video games i don't get mad if i lose in a fair setting like i take my losses very humbly like I take them you know like, like I'm gracious in defeat as they say you know I'm humble in victory gracious in defeat unless the other guy's being an asshole then that, I decide just to be a dick but um I'm humble you know in victory gracious in defeat you know I, I don't really you know not unless I'm being entertaining and I'm purposely you know but you know just but I'm just entertaining you guys when I do that shit you know Naturally, I'm just humble in victory, gracious in defeat, and when um, and I don't I don't get mad when I lose. I really don't. The only time I get mad, you know, in, in a fair situation, the only time I get um upset when I lose is when it's lag, and I don't necessarily get mad at the opponent because it's not always their fault. Like I said, I understand my situation. I know what's going on. I know what it is. I know what's, you know, the, the problem is. And I don't, um, I don't blame them for the lag. Often, more, more than times, none, it's my fault. But then again, I understand my internet situation, so I know. But I hate when I lose in a laggy situation because the inputs get delayed and nothing's coming out when, at the time you need it to. It's just like a bunch of, you know, and then you mix that with the constant distractions and all that, lights coming on. Like, it, it could be like a late night session, all of a sudden people flashing damn lights, lights turning on and on. You know, my baby cousin may be playing with like a light switch or something. Like, it's just like little constant distractions, man. So, all this, to, you know, and not to mention that my laptop is shit. So, the program freeze and not to mention all that nonsense, bro. Like, it's just... <sighs> like, it's really a lot to take in when you're trying to do something consistently and be entertaining and you got all these other factors playing in this kind of 
preventing you from being the best that you can be. You know, and that's what basically what the GoFundMe was there for. Um, the GoFundMe is to help me get new equipment, to get noise canceling equipment. Because if you guys remember, back in 2015, um, I would say my biggest issue was that the microphone that I had at that time it was picking up a lot of background noise, and it was it was times where I would have to like mute the microphone because even with me being in the room that I was in. Um, it, it wasn't like the way it is now. Like I had a door closed, but the walls were not like the best. You know, you, you could still hear noise through the walls. Um, so, you know, I could be in the middle of a gaming session and all of a sudden uh, you hear like a bunch of background noise of people yelling or whatever the case is. And it's kind of distracting. I know it's distracting for the viewers as well as for, you know, the... Um, you know, as well as for myself, because it's like, you know, I'm trying to focus. And people who are very competitive gamers, like, well, com competitive, not necessarily professionally, but just, you know, you want to be the best that you can be. And the best way you can do that is if you're focused on what you're doing. And oftentimes you get distracted because people want to decide to just walk in your room because you have no, you, like, like I said, there's no door, there's no windows. So people just waltz on in there, like, you know, I mean, just distracting me. I'm focused on what the hell I'm doing. I'm not trying to talk to nobody. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm focused on what the hell I'm doing. Let me, let me gain. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, bro. Like, it's just, I don't want to call, I don't, I don't want to call this video, like, just a useless rant. Because it, it's beneficial. I just want people to understand my situation and understand why the GoFundMe is even there in the first place. It's to help me get new equipment. Because uh, the OBS studio that I'm using, uh, the OBS, the, the programs that I want to use, like such as OBS Studio, they don't work on my laptop. They don't work. Like you can get the program to like launch, and it'll run. But if you try to record anything or try to live stream from it, it's the laptop can't handle it. And not to mention the internet situation, which I've already explained. Um, it's just it's not a good laptop for everything that I need to do in order to get to where I need to get to on YouTube, and, you know, I'm trying my best to try to get everything, uh, situated, um, but I need help, you know, I, I need help, and also, I'm gonna, you know, that's what everything's going towards, it's going towards the new gaming laptop, which is gonna cost me around, like, 5000 uh, I'm getting me a, which, well, um, I, I was gonna get me a, uh, a, um, sorry, flies is coming around me, kind of bugging the hell out of me right now. I was gonna get a uh, studio quality, uh, um, like kind of microphones, like those kind of microphones, and they have one made by Blue called the Yeti Pro. And it basically has, you know, the noise cancellation features. It has an omnidirectional, um, um, they have omnidirectional, uh, 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 like settings in the microphone so that, you know, it, it only picks up it from a certain angle. So you ain't got to worry about, like, the voice being picked up from around, not to mention the noise cancellation in it that gives an, an additional background noise protection. So it's, it's those type of features, you know, that the microphone itself I can get on my own. The, the, the programs I can get on my own, it's just basically the money is for the laptop, basically. <laughs> you know, and it's one of those things I just, like, I just need the, the, the help with it. Um, I feel like if I explain my situation to you guys, maybe you guys would be more aware of why I need everything that I, that I pretty much need. Or just at the very least understand why I'm, I'm not as energetic as, as, as I, some of you may have seen me be. Um, it, it's just very difficult because of my living situation right now. It ain't the worst, but for what I'm doing, it is. Like, for what I got going on, it's, it's one of the worst situations. Now, in actuality, it's not the worst situation. I'm just making the best out of it. But because of all the distractions and the constant noise and the background and people being nosy and all that other nonsense is, you know, not the best uh, situation for what I'm trying to do here on YouTube. So, 
you know, I'm just trying to get this taken off, and it's just like, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man, it's one of those things where it kind of, like, I've just been sitting back and just thinking, like, what do I have to do to get more viewers to my channel to where I can make a a, liv a living amount of money, a livable amount of money from YouTube, and it's not going to be easy, damn sure, because these days, YouTube, they lost their damn minds with these ads, and you know, and all this other shit they got going on on it. I mean, I'm just a little, like, I'm the little, little guy. Like, I'm I'm barely pulling, like, 100 views on, on a video. Like, I'll be lucky if I get that. So, I know what I need to do is just, you know, getting the money to do it. You know, and, it's, and I know that the laptop itself isn't going to help, but it's going to improve the quality of the content that you guys see. You know, and I just need to reach the right people. I don't need to reach more people. I need to reach the right people. So, like, I'm not stupid. I know what I need to do. It's just that I don't know how to go about doing it. I don't. You know, so, that's pretty much the meat and potatoes of everything I wanted to say. I'm pretty much done. And got all the stuff I wanted to get off my chest. Um, which, as I say that, I know that as soon as I end this video, something else is going to pop up in my head that I should have said. And I'm trying to think. I mean, that's pretty much everything. Dude. I don't really have nothing else I want to add. Uh, besides, uh, there, there will be a live Q&A. So you guys spread the word. ADS Play is having a live Q&A. Anything you guys want to talk about. I'm, I'm not against talking about anything on this channel, by the way. You know, you want to ask me about, you know, the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel that I had. You know, what's the status of it? Uh, will I be doing anything else on the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel? Um or what am I currently doing on the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel? I, you know, because I did make a separate call, ADS Play, ADS Play Cards, all one word. And that was the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. But I haven't done nothing with it in a while. Because I got caught up with everything I'm doing on this one. You want to talk about the Conor McGregor fight? You know, it, 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 don't, it don't matter. You know, politics, I'm all for it. Um, you know, video games, of course, you know I'm for that. Uh, you know, it don't matter. Pretty much like whatever... You guys want to speak on in the, in that live Q and A? You can speak on. You can ask me about my favorite kind of draws, favorite kind of shoes, like literally anything. Like I'm not oblivious, so I'm gonna try to do that around mid September, and I'm gonna try to keep promoting it in in any and or every video that I I do from here on out because I really want people to be a part of that, and I'm gonna live stream it. Um, I I don't know if I'm gonna do it on Twitch or I'm gonna do it on YouTube. I think YouTube will probably be the best place for me considering I don't have any, you know, I don't really have anywhere else um, that I can really do it. Twitch, I don't really, I could probably get away with doing it on Twitch as well, but I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, um, I am planning a, a live Q&A, so you guys spread the word on that, so. I know this video was kind of lengthy, which it was. I'm glad that, you know, what I thought was going to happen earlier didn't happen. Like, because oftentimes when I'm recording these videos, I would end up getting a phone call, like, dead in the middle of me recording. And then the recording just stops. And it just fucks up my concentration. So, I'm glad that didn't happen. Um, I'm still trying to get the SAC anime. Uh, I, don't, I don't know the the details of it yet for those of you who did see the channel update i don't really know i gotta wait till wednesday to see if my my uh vacation time got approved so i'm waiting on that uh hopefully it did um i still got business cards i want to pass out at, at these conventions because i know that's going to help with my view count even by a little bit it's going to help you know it's not going to hurt it at all so i'm, I'm trying to get everything lined up i know what i need to do to succeed is just that i'm not in a position to do those things and i'm trying to get there as quickly as possible you know so yeah with your guys support i can i, I can pretty much get there man so thank you guys for watching listen to me talk y'all head off you know i always try to do like these little special videos um you know just to try to connect with you guys on a human level i mean i don't think i'm a god or anything like that 
I don't think I'm a big YouTuber or like a big celebrity. I'm, I'm trust me, I'm far from it. I don't have that mentality to be that. Um, but oftentimes, other people look at you in that light, whoever, whoever it may be. And I, I kind of like making these videos because it helps me vent and it helps me come down. You know, I don't know. I guess bring myself back down to earth. Um, in the event that I may ever feel that way, which I don't, though, but. You know, it helps clear my mind and help me get things off my chest that I normally wouldn't be able to do in other videos. So, so yeah, man. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, peace. And I will see you guys for more gameplay this week, of course. Take care.